Hi Virgo Collective. How are y'all doing? I hope you're well. I'm going to start with these Enchanted Path or something like that. And we've got Compass, number 50. You have an internal compass directing you where you need to go right now. You possibly feel like you're stuck in the mud, but you're just meant to be educating yourself. Don't feel stuck, just expand. Goblins. You've still got this black magic um, that you're having to deal with. <clears throat> Number five, but things are changing. Five, five. You're listening to your intuition. You know this is coming to an end. Oh, I looked up the crane. There's another crane I see. The crane actually means um, loyalty and they mate for life, something like that. They're monogamous species. I thought they were a rival, but that's the stork. The crane is like royalty too. Heal the ouch. So your internal guidance has been guiding you to, to work through your healing spark and you're being you're getting guidance during this time while you're sitting and educating yourself working on expansion you're getting a lot of intuitive um spark a lot of inspiration during this time ghost lands Yeah, you're communicating a lot with spirit also at this time. You possibly have ancestors that are communicating with you. Magical map shifter. Yeah, you're guiding these ancestors. Not necessarily guiding them, but you're changing their destiny. Magic prayer. Yeah, you're sitting in prayer most of the time, listening to what uh, Spirit has to tell you. Let me pull some of these tarot. King of Wands. You're on top of the world. You have all the inspiration that you need to start a business or to run a business that you currently have going. You're an entrepreneur. Death. You've gone through a death of your old self. Knight of Coins. The self that just kept working and working and working but not really getting very far. You kind of took a step back to see how you might be able to find a better way to do it. Three of Cups. This is celebrations. You're going to be celebrating soon. Possibly a reunion with a loved one. Could be a lover, could be a, your soul family. Ten of Wands. You're laying your burdens down. You're also, this is showing that you're very loved by your ancestors and you're actually laying their burdens down as well by doing your healing. You're healing them too. And, and they're very grateful. They celebrate you. And they protect you. 
But you're at the end of this cycle. This is coming to an end soon. Five of Wands and King of Swords. It looks to me like um, this could be Archangel Michael. This could be the police. But somebody, or a lawyer, somebody is looking at some chaos that's going on. And they're looking at it from a high perspective. It could also be highly intuitive. Possibly appreciate your intuitive gifts. Queen of Cups. Yeah, your intuitive gifts. You are appreciated for being a, a person with an open heart who gives a lot of love, who has a lot of love for herself. And you see this shell? This shows that this person listens to the advice of the divine. Could be a cancer involved, could be a fire sign involved, could be um, a Scorpio involved, could be an earth sign involved. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this King of Swords has found some kind of evidence to prove some kind of mischief here that was done against you, to place burdens on you. Clarify this page of coins. Wheel of Fortune in the Sun. Whatever this information is that the King of Swords found is going to bring you success, happiness. It's gonna bring light to the situation. It's gonna shed a lot of light on the situation. And you're gonna finally be able to get the good karma that you have coming to you. Ace of Cups. This is the good karma coming to you. Unconditional love of the universe. And it's being handed to you straight by God. Um, let me switch decks here real quick. Clarify Ace of Cups. Ooh. Okay, it looks like somebody... Somebody is laying down their burden, same as you. They've completed a cycle. It's somebody, it looks like, that walked away from you in the past. But is coming back. Eight of cups inverted. This person's defeated the devil. They want to come in and offer you love. They're determined to bring this into you and quickly. They have an opportunity they want to offer you, or this is this relationship is an op opportunity that's being handed to you straight from God. All right. Well, let me pull a Lemurian card. Lemuria card. Water, the overflow. The being in the picture has many hands, and yet water falls through her fingers. It blesses her in the moments it touches her radiant skin and continues on its journey. Her heart is overflowing with love. Her eyes are filled with tears. She gracefully allows what comes through to move her without control, aligned with purpose. She is overjoyed to give from this limitless place and she radiates so much light into the world. Give more from a place of overflow than obligation. Even when we think we have nothing to give, coming from a mindset of overflow creates more of what we want. It's 
reminds me of that Ace of Cups that God's handing you. You're about to be overflowing with love. You're going to have plenty to give. All right, Virgos. I think I'm going to call that right now. I'll get back to you later. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a wonderful day.